What you are witnessing here is a level 59 undead rogue, three experience points yep. away from level 60, about to enter Ironforge for the first time. Uh -huh. Once I cross this border, my leveling journey comes Forge? to an end. One last time will I bathe in the golden dust, the culmination of 332 hours of gameplay. When I cross this border, surely I will reach peak fulfillment and transcend to a new plane of existence. Oh. When I cross this border, Infinite power. I will become level 60. And who better to share this moment with than a random level 6 night elf who is also entering Ironforge for the first time <laughs> and I killed him and ate his corpse. But that's a story for another time. What a way to hit 60. Welcome to the roleplay PvP server, way. Grobulus. Who's Grobulus, you are? Oh, no wonder he has all the Spurgs. He's on an RP server. I, I mean, this is the way that RP servers are in general. Like, they're full of fucking Spurgs. Like, they, they go crazy. I mean, like, no. I was like, oh, man, how does he keep running into these dumbasses? And it's because he's on a fucking RP server. That's why. Uh, they can't. They're really the best server. Well, I, I, look, I think Moonguard's a great server, too, but there's also a lot of fucking morons on the server. He's this guy from Hearthstone. And what right. better namesake for our community than a hulking, fat degenerate with monster energy pumping through his veins? When you play on a roleplay server, you have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen next. One minute, you're taking yep. part in a capoeira lesson and having a troll berate you for, for not doing it right. And the next minute, a gay, naked, tauren orgy has formed in the place you just happened to AFK in. Of what? course. G get me out of here! Now, yeah, whilst course. accidentally stealthing Doesn't my way sense. into furry, erotic roleplay wasn't yeah. one of the reasons I chose to play Rogue, I guess some would call it a bonus. Okay. Uh, not me, though. In fact, picking Rogue as my class was quite a tough choice because I had to battle the temptation to pick mage. And with free food, free travel, one-button raid rotations, and objectively the best leveling experience... I think mages are boring. I just think they're boring. Like, there's just... They're boring. Like, I mean, alright. Think about this. My warlock has more spells in one of his uh in one of his fucking windows for a spell book than mages use entirely warlocks are the warlocks are for mages that are actually smart mages are for people that just want to hit one button over and over and over Due to That's busted it. AoE farming, you're probably wondering, why yeah. did I pick Rogue? Well, my friends, yeah. an epiphany came to me during one of my water and other legal substances vendors. Oh. I realized, instead of being this guy, yeah. I want to be this guy. And that's the story of how I picked Rogue. I don't care about if- I would play a Rogue actually on my stream just to gank people. But the problem is that people will, like, stream snipe me and they'll know that I'm there. But I remember I did this a little bit. Like, whenever I would have a bad day, I'd get on my rogue and I'd go and I'd kill people in Hellfire Peninsula. Like, I'd just go kill level 58s. I didn't even care. I'd just open up on them and kill them. I'd sap them and I'd sap them again. I'd blind them. I'd come out of stealth. I'd sit down. I'd eat food. I'd dance with them. And then I'd move back and I'd shoot them with my gun and they'd die. It was one of the most fun things I ever did. It was so exciting. And nowadays, obviously, it's not really that big of a thing. Oh, yeah, I was a complete piece of shit. Like, I had all these different ways. Like, as I said, the, the best gank I ever did, the best gank I ever did, was there was a shaman and I just kept killing him over and over and over on my rogue and finally he got his hunter friend to come help him and I killed him even after his hunter friend tried to kill me because I'd just kill him and vanish and so his hunter friend finally was like alright man dude this is some bullshit man I'm just gonna take you somewhere else why don't you just go level over in Zangar Marsh man this is fucking bullshit and so he gets on his sandstone drake and so he mounts on a sandstone drake. So I know what's going to happen. I know that the, the torn is going to, the torn shaman is going to res up and he's going to get on the sandstone drake. So he reses up, he gets on the sandstone drake. I sap the drake. I come out of stealth. I'm like, hey, what up? I kill the fucking torn off his friend's back and I vanish. It was the best kill I've ever done in my whole life. Like, I, I really was. It was so fucking funny. Efficient leveling, one button rotations, or intelligence buffs. I just yeah. want to watch the world burn. Witness That's my no fun funny. allowed combo. Marvel in awe and disgust as I kill this night elf before they can even break out of one of my many stuns. Fuck him. 
What's that, that, human warrior? You're doing an escort quest? A quest where you have to lead a robot chicken across an incredibly large oh, distance as it no. walks at the slowest possible pace, effectively doubling the time the journey should take? Well, okay. it would be a shame if you were to fail the quest due to a rogue coming up behind you and kill- But I'm not all bad. Oh. I promise. <laughs> Take, for example, this human. Now, I will be honest, I was milliseconds okay. away from killing him when some cosmic force stopped me. I could somehow that, sense that, that this human good. was different. Special. So I followed him. I don't know how it happened. He was supposed to just be another kill, and I yep. really, truly was planning on killing him, but then... Then we're laying under the night sky, holding hands and watching the stars together, and I, I tell him my deepest, most personal, intimate secrets, and he responds Yay! that I, in the most adorable human accent I've Yay! ever heard. And I know that he couldn't understand what I was saying, Yay! but this moment cemented our friendship. Our connection had transcended language and yeah. faction, and such a bond, no doubt, is worth protecting above all Thanks. else. I could sense this human had somewhere to go, and so I resolved that my purpose, as dictated to me by the hand of fate, was to get Kuman the human where he needed to be. And so we traveled through Ashenvale together. I defended him from the aggressive wildlife, and in return, he talked down an angry, racist night elf who attacked me, eventually winning him over to my side. I me don't speak you. human, but I can only presume Kuman told him I was friendly. If only they knew. Now joined by a random cat, what we made fun. south for Talon Deep Path, a tunnel that leads this into Stone so Talon good, Mountain. This is what's so good about making YouTube videos, is you don't even need to deal with any of this shit, right? Is you don't need to deal with stream snipers or anything. Like, you can actually just make organic content. Like, whenever you're streaming, everything is always in the context of you streaming. But, like, whenever you do YouTube stuff, you can completely do, like, funny stuff like this. It, it, it's really cool. Now, despite technically being contested territory, Stone Talon Mountains is largely a horde area due to yeah. its main border being shared with the Barons. But Kuman had safely escorted me through the Alliance town of Astronar, so now it was my turn to return the favor. We arrived in the deforested Windshear Crag, and unless you enjoy goblins constantly biting at your ankles, I wouldn't recommend you visit. The spider-infested webwinder path proved no better either, and by the time we trekked to the top of the hill, we were out of breath and in need of a break. It was then that a mage attacked. <laughs> no! I screamed. Traitor? No. She questioned. I had to Traitor? think fast. One word in the general chat about Alliance being led through Horde territory Traitor? and the cavalry would arrive. Wow. These are ally. They are my pets, I lied, hoping she'd buy into my fabrication. Interesting. Keep them scarcely fed and controlled. Perfect. Another debate one. Wow. But we weren't out of the woods yet because another mage had shit. arrived on the scene, no doubt hearing the commotion. What's going on here? These are my pets, I lied again. Kinky. Oh, we have a degenerate on our hands. Yeah. It was going to take more than a quick lie to proceed past this mage, and unfortunately for me, there was only one solution. I would have to feed into his degeneracy until one of us broke. You like that? That was pretty hot. Woman hugs you. Just need to turn around to finish. It was time. I was about to make my winning move. I knelt in front of him, oh. ready to receive his undead load. When he broke, I had won this game of gay okay. chicken and we were free to pass. And okay. let me tell you, I always win gay chicken. Don't fucking try me. All things considered, okay. the horde had been pretty friendly so far, and I was feeling good about the journey. Until an orc flew out the trees. Put your green fingers on him again, and I'll cut them off where you stand. And wow. so our duel began. Unfortunately for me, the orc immediately broke my stealth with a demoralizing shout. Not a good look for your boy. No! Sin That's always a really good way to play the game, right? Is like if you're a warrior, you backpedal and you blood rage and you just cast a random uh, de demo shell. Th that's, the, uh, that's the warrior way right there. A strike into rupture secured me a small bleed and some nice damage, and I was also blessed with a nice poison proc. We then traded basic auto attacks whilst I built up combo points, warrior. culminating in a three point yeah. eviscerate, which only hit for a disappointing 88. Dancing back and forth, we traded a few more blows, yeah, putting my health at critical condition, but just as I was about to succumb, I won! Yeah, of course you won. Warriors suck. Of course, I calculated the yeah, duel so that I would terrible. win with just won. a sliver of health. It was meant to demoralize the enemy. That's also why I didn't use any cooldowns. I, I definitely didn't forget that I had them. The rest of the journey was relatively uneventful. Yeah. We continued north to Stone Talon Peak, and once we arrived, Kuman started motioning towards the Flight Master. I knew what this meant. Our it's journey over. had come to yep. an end. It was time to say goodbye. Sad.
Wait, he called him an evil Korean? What the fuck? I love you, Kuman. You taught me compassion and empathy. No longer will I just mindlessly attack every Alliance player I see. From today, I am a changed undead. Now let me tell you about my gun move. For whatever reason, rogues have a range slot. Now you can equip a bow and it will work just as well, however, it's yeah. way funnier to have the gun because the gun is loud. Holy shit, why is it so fucking loud? So here's- the, He's actually right about that. Having a gun and killing people with the gun is much better than the arrows because do you feel like Chris Kyle? So like, if you ever have somebody- Because it, it also takes longer to get the gun out because bows are generally faster than guns are. And so, like, after you pull out the gun, it feels like you're, like, a soldier from the Revolutionary War, and you've got one final shot in the musket, and you see the red coat that's over the fucking, over the fucking hill, and you go for the, you know, the, the Hail Mary shot, and you just pop him. It feels so goddamn good. I still remember that moment that I killed that fucking hunter, uh, there's the, sorry, the druid, and we killed him, and I, uh, I don't know, I think that was probably my favorite ganking moment of all time. As he was running away, I just shot him with the gun and it finished him off. It was beautiful. This is my meme. I leave an alliance play low and I create distance, then I line yeah. up my shot. If I misjudged their remaining health, they live to fight another day. But if the stars are aligned... Now in classic yeah. WoW, because there's no cross-server functionality, good. reputation goes a long way. Being a kind, genuine, helpful person will get you re-invited to groups, whereas ninja looting a chest everyone else is rolling for will bring about bad karma. This mo I ninja loot every chest that I'm in whenever I'm in groups. Every chest I take it. And there was actually this one time, this was in the Dead Mines. You know like the, the place where there's like the undead guys and they're like, rawr, rawr. Or sorry. What is it like it's the ghoul sound okay i don't know how exactly to make the sound but you guys know what i'm talking about right and uh it's the ghouls and i loot a chest i run past the other group i loot the chest and then they get mad at me for looting the chest and it had like arcane damage like shoulders in it and i traded the shoulders to the mage and then the mage was like yeah but i still don't forgive you for looting the chest because who knows what was in that chest i'm like the shoulders were in the chest he's like no they weren't you just gave them to me how could they be in the chest if you just gave them to me i'm like because i looted them from the chest he's like fuck you and then i just moved on like, the guy was a, just a dumbass, right? I just gave him the shoulders. I didn't care. Like, I mean, but I, I figured that, like, if I loot a chest, if I loot a chest, it's better for me to get the loot than somebody else. And that's why I never roll on chests. Never roll on chests. Never have, never will. Mushroom, however, was totally worth it. Delicious. Yeah. But you need to remember, there are disgusting alliance players out there, and you're leveling alongside them, too. Introducing Dragon, the human warlock. Now, when I arrived in Stranglethorn Vale, I made a promise to myself. A promise that I would try to kill all and any alliance I saw. Even if it meant I wasn't leveling at a good pace, even if it meant I had to do back-to-back, back-to-back-to-back corpse runs. That was a great take. Regardless yeah, of class, great. level, or even how many people I was taking on at a time, I wanted to PvP. And unfortunately, Dragon was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Again, and again. And again. I'm sorry. It wasn't that I was targeting Dragon specifically. I killed my fair share of people that day. So Dragon probably should have reported this guy for stream sniping. Hopefully he did that. And some of them uh, a lot of times. But something about the name Dragon would forever wedge itself into my brain. Yeah. And then, 13 levels later in Feralis, as I was finishing up oh, on a quest, no. I turned north to face the top oh, of a great no. hill. And who did I see? Dragon. Of course, you already know what the. F uh, th this is like these stories right here are why I love the game. I'll be right back. I need to take a piss, guys.
Okay. We're back. Fuck it is. I followed Dragon down the hill and back into the cave I had just come out of. That's when I hit her with my patented no fun allowed combo. She called for a mod, but no mod came. <laughs> then I left the cave and perched above the entrance like a bird of prey. Okay. If you haven't already guessed by the way I'm maintaining vision of her corpse, yes. Okay. This time I was specifically targeting Dragon. Yep, Eventually, of minutes later, of the corpse would become a skeleton. Showtime. I swooped down behind her like fucking Batman and interrupted her summon. No void will for you, bitch. Yep. And then she fucking died. How on earth did that happen? A few minutes later, she returned, this time creating enough distance to summon her Void Walker. I will now give you a couple of seconds to think about the difference this made. Yeah, I wonder. What the fuck? Uh, none. The answer was none. However, on the next resurrection, Dragon managed sacked. to mount up and run. And with that kind of head start, there was yep. no way I was catching up now. The, the camping dream was dead. It was time to admit defeat. Is what I would say if she didn't dismount oh. 20 seconds later and try and summon her oh, Void Walker no. again. Hello, is anyone in there? Oh, As no, I consumed her delicious feet, I wondered whether I was taking things too far. Uh, nope. I had tasted the forbidden fruit, and I wasn't going to stop the anytime soon. Fruit. As Wait, Dragon mounted fuck? and ran away for a second time, I'd okay. like to tell you that she had learned her lesson, but she literally did the same thing again. Yep. Fool you once, shame on me. Fool you twice, y y you're ah, an idiot. But as I slaughtered twice. Dragon for the 23rd time since we first met, I had a sudden epiphany. Actually, she wasn't an idiot. She was a stubborn warrior with an iron resolve. Okay. At any point during my incessant camping crusade, she could have just spirit revived. But she yep. didn't. She just kept getting back up. Obviously, Dragon assumed I would soon tire out, and after deciding wonder... to revive at her corpse again. Now, Dragon is probably a bot. Like, that's the thing, it's like, I hate whenever I gank somebody, and it turns out that they're a bot. Because then I know that I didn't make them mad. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't feel good about ganking a bot. It's like, oh, you can't make. It's like you have a Yeti and Feralass over there, right? You can't troll the yeti the yeti doesn't care so it's not fun to do it and instead of the spirit healer i knew i would have to teach dragon a lesson they would never forget you don't enter into a game of chicken with me we both mounted up sure. and the chase was on sure. despite the clear head start dragon had on me i wasn't concerned i mean what kind of griefer would i be if my opponent can just mount up and run away and that is why days ago i had gone out of my way to acquire a sacred piece of gear a carrot on a stick how had i acquired such a coveted trinket so early that's I a story how. for another video yeah, I but wonder all how. you need to know is that the trinket increases my mounted speed by three so percent and to the misfortune of dragon that was not all the <laughs> mithril spurs i had received from a blacksmith Did increased my mounted speed by another 4% and I was therefore destined to catch up. And yeah. so I did. As I left Dragon dazed and confused by my blinding powder, I oh wondered, boy. would this be our final oh confrontation? Boy, Surely on. 20 minutes of being yeah. camped was your limit. Carrot what lore. would you do, Dragon? Revive at the spirit healer and admit defeat? Yeah, or revive at your corpse and see just how deep this rabbit hole goes? One minute became two and two became four. Four became eight, and after 10 minutes, Dragon had still not made her choice. Uh -oh. After 30 minutes, I started to question mine. Had I really just spent 30 actual minutes of my life hiding in a bush watching a virtual corpse? What the fuck is wrong with me? I could be doing something productive, and I don't just mean in the game, I mean with my life. I could be, I could be taking this time to learn a real life skill. I could just have taken anything. a, oh, she revived. <laughs> And that's the story of Dragon. After waiting 30 minutes to kill okay. her, she no doubt realized my will was a raid boss she was never going to conquer. And finally, she embraced the warmth of 10 minutes resurrection sickness. Suck on that, bitch! Dragon was last oh, wow. seen in Burning Steeps, and immediately spirit revived after being killed once. Yep. I will never forget the name Dragon, and it seems Dragon will never forget mine either. The end. By the way, I fell through the map into Cabins of Time and I can't Ooh. get out, so if anyone could send help, I'd really appreciate it. Please send help, I can't- I can't leave. Is there a reason the cat's on the screen? What does the cat have to do with it? That's a really nice cat, to be fair. Look at that. God damn. That's a perfect cat. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link the video here. Here's the video right here. Oh, the cat gets you more subscribers. Well, I, guess, I guess that makes sense. One more to watch. I guess we can watch the last one, too. Uh, that, that'll be okay. Can you watch the video of the Shaman critting players over 2 million damage using Diver's Folly? No, I haven't seen that. Read comments. Okay, just real quick. 
Uh, I cried whenever Kuman flew away. I, I always win gay chicken. Dragon ganked me a couple times, so I'm happy to see them die. This basically depicts my heart and soul of rogues 100%. Well, th that's true, actually. Like, a lot, of these, uh, a lot of these videos, and I feel like certain players, there's like an attitude and a perspective that certain players have, and this guy perfectly encapsulates the perspective of a rogue player. Like, this is what rogues do. Like, they just randomly go around, and they'll gank you, and it's fucking annoying. Wait, read first comment. <clears throat> Wait, what the fuck? Hey, it's Kuman. I've gotten so many messages about you, about this video in-game. Absolutely hilarious video, great work. Had a nice time pondering the meaning of life with you near that hill in a desolate part of the Barrens, even though we couldn't communicate. Ashamed, uh... Ashamed to admit that I took uh, I took the wrong way that I was trying to get the stone telling, but I wasn't about to give up after investing so much time and running to the border. Hence, I laid down next to you to deal with my frustration lull. But we'd made it so far already, I felt it wrong to give in and hearth out only to never see you again. Uh, I had to finish what I came there for, for it had been a shame to see, uh, to waste the time that we'd spent together already. Leaving was the hardest part, knowing that I could only communicate in gestures, hoping you'd understand. I still think back to this every now and then, and I've been looking for you ever since. Gay. Yeah. But no, no, honestly, like, this is, that's beautiful, man. That's really beautiful. Damn. That's that's a really nice thing to say. What the hell? Wow. Can't say gay. I'm pretty sure you can say gay, dude.